Hey everybody, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to another video. So I'm so excited to be, I don't know why I'm getting a notification that I'm going live. Like what is up with that? I can't even subscribe to myself. Um, oh goodness, I'm so sorry. I just got to text you guys. My daughter's having a sleepover and okay. Oh gosh, this is bad. I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> so I want to say hi in the chat to Star Craven Wild and Turtle Trader is here. Hello. And Tiff's Thrust, hello. And Debbie Porter and Michelle and Carol. Hi. Real Liquidation. Hello. And Parrothead Picker. Hello, Andy. How are you? Um, so I'm sorry. This um hang on. I'm so sorry, y'all. You know how it is when you get a text about your kids. It's looking. Okay, um, I'll just have to see what she says here in a second. She's still typing. Of course, this happens as soon as I hit the go, go live button. So sorry, you guys. Um, hey, Chris Lenny and Simple to Face Seven. Hello, and Redneck Kristen Resales. Nathan is here. Hello, love them anyways. Twenty two. Hi everybody. I hope you can hear and see me okay. Um, this was just a last minute uh, thing to come on real quick. I wanted to share some Poshmark sales with you and um, some friend mail. And <laughs> that's my other bird, bird clock I got, you guys. And that one sounds like the bird. <laughs> Can you hear it? That one sounds like the birds are dying whenever it goes off. Um, so that one's kind of the weird one, but I got one over here that works really good. Um, so Okay, I'm so sorry. Let me just do this real quick. Oh my gosh, I'm such a bad host here. Um, okay, so I wanted to share. So Carol, um, Bargain Shopping on YouTube, sent me a package and I did I did go ahead and open it but I haven't really looked inside of it yet I promise I haven't so I'm gonna look now so um that says thanks Tanya for having me on your show Carol what a cute little post-it this little kitty cat hey Tammy um okay so and she showed this she came on um, a show that I do with Angie treasured vintage here on YouTube and the name of our show is Jewelry Detectives. And so Carol was on a show and she was um, showing this butterfly, this real pretty gold butterfly uh, brooch. And I just went nuts about it. And you can see it's it's uh, got a hallmark right over there. And I forget what it's hallmarked. Oh, she put a piece of paper in here. It says D. Nicola. D. Nicola. I had never heard of that before. So thank you so much. I'm so happy she sent it. I'm going to totally be keeping this. It's beautiful. So um, I raise butterflies, you guys, the monarch butterflies. So I love anything to do with butterflies. So, um, and Cheryl uh, Cyvers here. Hello. Welcome. Okay. So thank you, Carol. That's so exciting. And then there's something else in here. So she says, this is from the $3 store. <laughs> I love her little post-it notes. Carol, if you're watching this, you're going to have to let me know where you got these. Hey, Rhonda. Got junk in our trunk is here. Oh, my gosh. This is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. How pretty. Let me see how this goes. Isn't this gorgeous, y'all? I love purple. I'm totally going to rock this. Thank you so much, Carol. That's so sweet. And it's from Chico's. So you guys, um, Carol is fortunate enough to live in an area and she has this little store that she can go to and they sell brand new Chico's and um, also other brands too. New with tags for only $3, you guys. So um, she finds some amazing things. Thank you so much, Carol. That was so sweet of you. I'm so excited. I can't wait to wear those. Um, okay, so what do you guys want to see next? My Poshmark sales or my pickups that I got recently? 
So I, I went by the Goodwill this morning. I picked up a couple things and then I got a couple things last Friday. So I was just gonna show you guys a handful of things that I got. So um okay. Tammy says she sold lots of Chico's in her booth. So let's just go ahead and give Tammy a plug right now, you guys. So um, she is Tam's Place right here in the chat. So you guys can hover over her name and go subscribe to her if you if you want. She has um, really great content. She runs an antique booth and she's just adorable and I love her. And she's going to be on John um, Cincinnati Pickers channel here in about one hour. It's two, two o'clock uh, Central Standard Time. I think it's three o'clock. Uh, what, what time zone is that, Tammy? Um, so yeah, John's going to be interviewing her. So you guys got to go check that out. I'm definitely going to be there for that. Uh, Rhonda says she just got back from the bins. Woohoo. She said she took a friend on her first trip and she loved it. Awesome. Yeah. I wish we had bins here. Hey, Angie. Yes, I'm feeling so much better, you guys. Um, Saturday night, I thought I was coming down with the flu, and I got a flu shot, but that doesn't matter. Several people here, um, you know, in this area got flu shots, and they still got sick. My daughter did, so. Okay, good. Cheryl says he's, she subscribed to Tammy. Yay. Um, Andy says he just picked up some Chico sandals. Cool. Um, okay, Michelle says, okay, so that's uh, three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Michelle, over on um, John, the Cincinnati Pickers channel. So I better get moving. So you guys want to see my posh sales? Okay, so I've been on Poshmark, you guys, for about two years. But because, um, you know, whenever I first learned about it, I went over there and I made an account and everything like that. But it wasn't until, you know, just recently, like maybe in the past two or three weeks that I started um, getting heavily into it. And so I've had a handful of sales. I wanted to come on and share my sales with you guys. So let me find the screen share button. Oh, hang on. I got to bring it up. Hang on, you guys. I'm trying to find it here. But every time I keep trying it, it minimizes it all the way to the bottom. I'm looking for the right application window and it's down in my tray down there. I'm trying to bring it up. Okay, hang on. <laughs> the story of my life. I'm always having technical difficulties. Okay, now it made, the, made it real big. Let's try to shrink it down. <sighs> okay, I think I've finally figured this out. <laughs> okay, wait, that's me. Here we go. Okay, so can you guys see my screen okay, I hope? I'm not going to be able to see the chat a whole lot whenever I'm doing this. Uh, let's see if y'all can see the screen okay. Can y'all see my screen I'm sharing okay? My closet should be up on the screen right now. So my closet there is at Tana Sheets. If you guys want to follow my closet, um, I'll follow you back. Or if you want to put your closet name in the um, comments down below, once the video is over, I'll definitely come and check you out. Okay, Rhonda says that she can see it. And Chiari, hey, Chiari. Okay, so let's let's check out my sales, you guys. Swag Maven, Debbie's here, hey. Okay, so I might not be able to see the chat whenever I have my, when I'm showing you guys my posh sales. So let me go find that screen again. Okay. So this was, let me make sure you guys can see enough. Hopefully you're seeing enough of the screen. So this one right here was my very first sell I had on Poshmark. And I was so excited to see these sell because they had been listed up on eBay forever in a day. So there are, there are Tory Burch metallic gold laser cut wedge sandals. And the lady, um, she purchased them for $58. I was doing some experimenting with my pictures. And instead of a white background, I had taken these out back on uh, the patio table. <laughs> and some of my friends said it kind of looked like they were on water. And it does kind of look like the shoes are sitting on water a little bit. And 
And um, so they sold for $58. So I was super excited, you guys. If you guys just started selling on Posh, once you get your uh, first sale, it's really exciting. So that one, and then this one, let's talk about this. I debated whether I wanted to even share this one with you guys because the lady told me that it was, you know, it wasn't real, that it was um, a knockoff. And so, yeah, I had it listed high. And this is one of the very first things. This had been listed on Poshmark, you guys, probably for two years. And then when I got heavily back into it, um, somebody made me an offer for $40. And of course, I was just excited to be getting some sales. Uh, so I accepted the $40. I mean, heck, I didn't know if it was real or not. I had just been storing it in my house for two years. I was happy to see it go. Um, but it, I will tell you, it did come from a garage sale where some other items were purchased there that were real for sure. So I just, um, I, I assumed, and we all know that's bad to do. So I probably should have uh, checked into that and uh, authenticated it somehow. But I do have another really pretty Chanel scarf I would like to list. I've been doing some research online trying to figure out the tips and clues if they're real or not. So that's always a good idea to try and uh, do some research. YouTube is a wealth of information for finding stuff out. So yeah, Angie, Deb said that she did. <laughs> so yeah, I love to take pictures out back, like with the green plants showing and stuff. So sometimes just the plain white backgrounds get boring. Okay, so, but anyway, so she paid $40 for this and that bitty left me like a two-star feedback. I was so upset and you know what? If she was disappointed with it, then she should have returned it. And she she just, I forget what her comment said, her feedback, something about, well, I guess for a knockoff, $40 isn't that bad. So she just kept it. Um, but so, yeah, that was kind of a bummer. Um, so let's see. So the next one is um, Brighton. You guys, the Brighton jewelry has totally been selling for me. So if you guys see Brighton jewelry when you're out in the field, definitely pick it up. So this one is a vintage Brighton charm bracelet, hearts and love. And so I was really hoping to get more for this. I think I saw one on eBay sold for about $35. I wonder why my pictures aren't changing. Um, oh, there they go. But uh, again, I was just excited to get another Poshmark sale. So I accepted the $20 and I have got feedback on this one and she was happy with it. And where did I even pay for this? Um, I don't think I paid much for this. Maybe probably $2.99, $3.99. Okay. So this one, oh my goodness, you guys, this was a really big sale. So it is a 14 karat gold yellow uh, yellow gold Texas state shaped nugget pendant. And um, I had this uh, listed on Etsy and eBay and Poshmark and it sold here on Poshmark for $149. I've also already got feedback on this and the money is in my, my balance now. So I'm happy about that. So that was a really big sale. And this uh, I picked up at the thrift store at Goodwill, I think, and I paid probably, I think I paid 15 or $20 for this. So that was a really good sale. Let me close these out as I go. So, and I was just having a big Texas selling day on Poshmark, you guys. So um, I have here this James Avery Sterling Silver uh, Texas Charm Pendant. And somebody sent me an offer for $25. So I accepted that. I felt I probably could have got $30 for it, but I felt $25 was a nice, strong offer. So I took that. I'm so excited the jewelry selling on Poshmark. It's really exciting. Thanks, Angie. Angie says, congrats again on that pendant sale. Woohoo! <laughs> right? Uh, let's see. Tammy says, I found a Brighton backpack at Goodwill the other day. Not sure why. Oh, what I should price it at for my booth. Oh, I don't know. I have to post some pictures so we can see it, Tammy. Um, see, so then here is another jewelry sale. So this says vintage Texas shaped gold tone bracelet. And I think I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar. But you, as you can see, it's got the great state of Texas all around it. It definitely was gold tone. It stuck to, you know, it was magnetic. It stuck to the magnet. So I 
always make sure of those things before I list them, you guys. So, and it sold for $25. So that was really exciting. And this was also an item that was on eBay and Etsy forever. And it sold on Poshmark. So the next item is a rare, hopefully I'm going to say this right, center signer, gold tone, sitting cat, bow, brooch. And I put green in there. You really have, you're kind of limited as far as how many characters you can put for your title on Poshmark. So you kind of really need to just put exactly what it is and maybe leave out uh, a lot of the adjectives. So my titles are definitely, they have to be a lot shorter over here on Poshmark. But isn't this little kitty cat cute? So I bought this cat in a lot uh, on another online site. And I think I probably paid about $12 for the whole lot. And I'm I'm going to be breaking it down, you guys. I've already made my money back easily on this one piece right here. So super cute little kitty cat. Probably could have got more. I think I was asking higher than this. I think I was asking like $39. But I felt $22 was a nice strong offer. So all in all for this one, I mean, I maybe paid a dollar, a dollar fifty for this and it sold for 22. So that was awesome. So this one uh, just sold yesterday. I was experimenting with the price price drop option and I uh, I've decided like I'm not going to send whenever I reduce the price to my likers because I've found in the past, I don't really get much action with that. So what I do is I just send the notification to the likers and everyone else. So it's public. And I had this, I think I had it up for 69 and I dropped it to like, I don't know, 62, I think. And then the lady offered 55. So I um, accepted that and I believe I paid $6.99 for this at Goodwill. So really good quality Patricia Nash Italian tooled leather floral brown wallet. Really nice wallet. Very nicely made too. Um, let's see, I do have more pictures up here. So there's, there's the inside. You can see it signed right there. So yay, that's my Poshmark sales, you guys. I hope I have many more to share with you guys too coming up, I hope. Um, so Debbie says, I just made a Brighton bracelet sale on Poshmark today. Yay! So she says she'll post that in our Poshmark group. Yeah, so thank you for bringing that up. So come on over and on Facebook, we have a group called Poshmark Talk. And we just started it last week. So we'd love to see you over there. Um, and that's going to be a regular monthly show that I'll be doing with Lauren, who is Hot Chic Thrift here on YouTube, and Andy, the parrot head picker here on YouTube. And they, they're they both doing really killing it on Poshmark. So um, definitely go follow them, you guys. Oh, thanks, Rhonda. She says, great sales, Tanya. You're always hitting the mark. I appreciate that. So are you. You had some really good sales lately. Um, I mean, like a really, really big sell I saw. I think it was a shirt. Wasn't it a shirt? Thank you. Love them anyway, 22. And Debbie, Swag Maven, thank you. Okay, so let me turn this. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. So this is my closet. If you guys want to come uh, follow me and be sure and um, follow. Uh, if you like, if you follow me, I'll definitely follow you back because follow you I follow everybody who follows me. I still haven't, you know. As you can see, I've been following it, been following more people than than I have followers. So, and I regularly go and uh, follow new people and welcome them to to Poshmark. I've heard that's good to do. So I do do that. Okay, so we're back. Um, let me make this bigger. So Friday, you guys, I was on. Thanks, Angie. She says, doing great on the Poshmark. Thank you. So Friday, I was on my friend Wade's channel of Wade's Ventures. And I did show a couple items I picked up. Oh, Tammy, are you still here? Uh, Tammy, are you still in the uh, chat? I was going to show you that bag, that coach diaper bag I picked up for $2. So... 
Let me know if you are still here. Hopefully you are. Oh, I'll just show you guys. So a Friday morning, I went to a garage sale and uh, I was on social media whining about <laughs> how when I came up to the uh, garage sale, there was some man negotiating to buy a whole big old bucket of jewelry. And I think he got the whole bucket for like 30 bucks. So um, that's always, uh, you know, not fun to start your day out like that. But, you know, it happens. That could have easily been me buying that jewelry and somebody else would have been like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> But um, yeah, so this is one of the things that I picked up instead. So I, I paid $2 for it and you can see it's marked coach right there. It's really big, big old bag, diaper bag, I believe. And let's see, that kind of threw me off because it has elite right there. So I wasn't sure about that. Angie says, that's so sad, Tanya. I'd be crying. I was, I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, good. I'm so happy you're still here, Tammy. So, um, yeah, and then it has this little mark on there, too. So, I mean, I guess it's a diaper bag. At first, I thought maybe it's a messenger bag, like some kind of a messenger bag. But I definitely think it's legit and the real thing. So, it has uh, wait, that there on the inside. So... I mean, honestly, I haven't even looked on eBay yet to see what they go for. But, so yeah, I got that. I'm just going to show you guys everything I got last Friday. So that I got that at a garage sale, but then I went to Goodwill, of course. And I picked up this fun little kiss ornament. Um, I think this is, is this, is this Paul? Who was the one with the star? That's Paul, right? And it was 99 cents. But originally $4.99 at Garden Ridge, but that could have been years ago, right? Anyway, I'll have to do some research on that one. And then I just love this little watch. I love these dainty vintage little watches like this. You see if you can see it's marked Seiko. And it's real nice. It's got the little safety clasp on there and everything. And it was um, $2.99. So I'm definitely going to be listing this one. Tammy, you like the bag? <laughs> okay, good. Yay, yay. Okay, and then, you guys, I got these glasses. They remind me of some glasses my great-grandma used to wear. Aren't they cool? But they're not, like, I can't even, I can't even see out of them. Like, they're definitely prescription. It's a really strong one. It, like, makes me dizzy. Uh, so, but my friend Raymond was telling me that, you know, people buy these frames all the time like this cheap, and then, uh, you can just get different, different lenses for you. He said it's pretty inexpensive to, to fix. So we'll see. Oh, and these were, these were only 99 cents. So that's a deal. And then I got these, uh, Michael Kors glasses. I paid up for these. These were $10, $9.99. But I thought they were kind of cool. I mean, I don't know if I'll keep them for me or not. We'll see. I might put them on Poshmark. So those, let's see. That's really all I got Friday. Not a ton of stuff. Today, I got a couple things. Okay, I thought this was really neat. It says uh, Pike Place Seattle on it. I paid $6.99 for it, and it's like a ceramic figure. But I thought it would be... See, and it's like a hand holding this fish. But I thought it would be neat maybe for my antique booth. Hang on one second. I'm getting another text. 
So Madeline is at a friend's house. She had a sleepover and she says they're on the way. So you guys, I'm going to turn my screen off just for a second and I'm going to go open my garage so she can come in, but I'll be right back. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'll be right back. The kids are on spring break. Oh, okay. So let me just pause this for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> I just ran outside real quick. Um, I'm like the worst host ever. <laughs> Thank you guys for putting up with my me with me texting and having to step away for a second. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are still here hanging out with me. So I just have a couple more things to show. I'm all out of breath now. Oh, so I picked up this hat. It says uh, Southern y'all. So I thought that would be a fun hat for me. So probably going to keep that one. Really like it. And it was only uh, $2.99. Um, Rhonda said that's funny. It does... Oh, it made a noise. Hey, baby. Did you have fun? Is something the matter with your eye, baby? Oh, poor baby. Okay, Mama Fix. Mommy's live right now, okay? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Come over here. You have to come over here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, Mommy, get off this in just a second, okay? I'll be right with you, baby. Uh, so I picked this one up. This one was uh, $2.99. It's a wallet and it was by somebody I'd never heard before. It's Grace Adele. Uh, but I thought I could probably get about uh, maybe $15 for this on Poshmark. Of course, I'll list it on eBay also, but it's real nice on the inside. So that are you guys still with me <laughs> and then i got this one i haven't decided if i'm going to keep this one or not yet it's michael kors and it was only uh 2.99 so it says i'm still live oh okay good Rhonda says she's here yay <laughs> uh Hi, Wanda. She says, uh, thanks, Tanya, for your video on listing from eBay to Etsy to Poshmark. It has helped me to list things so much faster. Yay, I'm so excited. Thank you for letting me know. Thanks, Chiari. Um, Donna Wester. Hey, she says, uh, you can put that on Poshmark. I thought it was just clothes. No, Donna. <laughs> Um, Poshmark, you'll have to go back and watch the beginning of the video. I showed my Poshmark sales. So you can sell, you can sell um, shoes, clothing, purses, uh, wallets, makeup. Um, you know, Poshmark is just not for clothing. Definitely not. You can definitely sell other things. Jewelry. So 
So Cheryl asked, when you cross post, can you take one listing easier from one place to another? Can you take one listing easier? I don't understand. Um, oh, and yeah, uh, Rhonda says you can also sell accessories and planners. What? You can sell planners? I didn't know that. Um, hey, Marco, Florida's Hidden Treasure. She says she has only sold two things on Poshmark. Yay, that's great. Um, glad you're still with me, Tammy. And hey, Schnell, hello. New to online selling, your videos are so helpful. Thanks. Oh, thank you for watching. Okay, so Real Liquidation says books. I know, right? Because like I'm a book person too. So um, I did see a book for sale over there, but I probably, I mean, I don't think that's really, when I think about Poshmark, I really think about mainly fashion and like what's trending and what's popular. So um, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could try it. I really honestly haven't done a ton of research <laughs> into it to tell you the truth. But I'm definitely going to be selling my vintage jewelry there for sure, because a lot of the trendy uh, young people love the vintage jewelry. So I think it's a great avenue to move some of your pieces. Okay. Yeah, definitely, Donna, go get some accessories listed for sure. Uh, okay, so Cheryl says, can you copy and paste or do you have to re-enter each time? No. So Cheryl, I have a video that I posted last week here on um, YouTube. And I believe the title of the video is, you know, posting from eBay to Etsy to Poshmark. And I've got, I show you my whole process and I am copying and pasting everything. So it goes super fast. Hey, Thelma. Good to see you here. So Thelma, I, I wanted to tell you that we created a um, another Facebook group and it's called Poshmark Talk. So I would love for you to come join over there. Uh, so Thelma says they ask that you not clutter Posh with anything but clothing and accessories. So that makes sense because, you know, like I said, when I think about Poshmark, I think about, you know, fashion and what's trending and, and just being fashionable. Uh, thanks for liquidation. That's nice. Okay, awesome. So yeah, so this Michael Kors wallet, you guys, only two ninety nine at Goodwill. Um, I definitely think it's the real thing. And there's this is what the inside looks like. So it's super cute, and I I love the smaller wallets and stuff because. Um, I, I used to carry real big purses and especially having younger kids, but my kids are older now and I don't really have to have a lot of their stuff in my purse anymore. So I just really prefer the crossbody so that my hands can be free whenever I'm shopping or garage selling. So I really just like um, to carry a small purse and I also carry a small wallet too. So, and then I wanted to show you guys this. I thought this was really cute. I got this this morning also. It was $2.99 and it's a bunch of books. But we've been talking about selling the Lucky Bamboo. And our um, I have another group on Facebook uh, called Antique Booth Talk that I run with Jen the Pudgy Picker and Tammy from Tam's Place. She's here in the chat. And we all talk about our antique booth. So we're talking about selling uh, Lucky, Bam Lucky Bamboo. Uh, Jen the Pudgy Picker, she sells a lot of it. So I thought this would be a good container for that. It's like a plant container. And I thought it'd look really cute with some bamboo in there. But I might have to keep it because I really like the books on it. <laughs> right? So pretty neat, huh? That. Let's see what else. Just one more thing. And I got this, I'm pretty sure this is Starbucks, but it's a little bitty Fox coffee mug. And it was only 49 cents. And I love foxes and like coyotes and stuff. <laughs> so I couldn't resist leaving it behind. The handles, this little bitty tail, so cute. And I, it's like brand new. There's the bottom of it. So. Really cute little mug. 
so that's my thrift haul you guys so just wanted to come on real quick and um tell you guys and do a um, Poshmark sales update and show you my thrift haul and my awesome gifts from Carol bargain shopping here on YouTube. Um, I'd love to hang out with you guys a little bit longer, but I do need to go check in with my daughter and see how she's doing since she just got home. And I want to remind everybody, go, um, go over to John, the Cincinnati Pickers channel here on YouTube. He is going to be uh, interviewing Tammy from Tam's Place here in about 20 minutes on YouTube, so you won't want to miss that. So thanks, everybody, for joining in the chat, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.